Hey everyone, let's have a little bit of a chat about browsers. Your browser is your gateway to the web, and if it's not secure, it's kind of like having the door wide open for hackers. But don't worry, by the end of today, you're gonna know how to lock down your browser settings, add privacy features, and enjoy a much safer browsing experience. What's up, s'mores? I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to day 15 of my 30-day security challenge, which means we are officially halfway there. How exciting is that? This is your month long challenge where I am helping you take control of your privacy and security one step at a time. You can follow along with the challenge via my blog over at shannonrmorse.com where you can download a checklist and you can skip ahead if you want to have a head start. All of these videos are curated into a playlist as well here on YouTube so you can binge watch the entire series from day one to day 30. Why browser security matters. Now your browser is one of the most used apps on your computer and your phone, and it's the number one way that you access all of your personal information on the web. So securing it should be a no brainer. <laughs> Browser vulnerabilities have always been a favorite target for hackers and malicious actors, whether they are using malicious ads, tracking cookies, or social engineering you to click on things that you shouldn't click on. But the good news is that browsers in 2025 have a lot more built-in security and privacy features than ever before. Now, whether you prefer just up upgrading the security of your current browser, or you want to switch to a more secure option entirely, I have got you covered in this video with step one, securing your current browser. Now your built-in web browser is most likely going to be either Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, or Apple's Safari, depending on which operating system you're using. You don't have to stick with whatever came on your computer or your phone. You can absolutely download a brand new browser and set that up as your default browser, which can allow for better security. But I do recognize that some folks can't do that. Maybe your work PC doesn't allow you to download a brand new browser, or the one you use has great integrations that you really don't want to give up. Now, while these issues can create some vulnerabilities, you can change the settings to increase your security and privacy. These browsers are going to be very convenient, but there are a few security settings that you want to adjust to make them more private and more secure. I am going to use Google Chrome for my my first example, so here's how to lock it down. First, go to Settings, Sync, and Google Services, then click Manage What You Sync, and disable syncing of things you don't need, like passwords, search history, or bookmarks. Turn on encryption for your synced data from that main settings page, and if you turn on encryption via your Google account, make sure to follow the steps I lined out in my multi-factor authentication or 2FA video, so you can learn how to set up a passkey or multi-factor authentication authentication for your Google account. Next, for step three, go into security and privacy or privacy and security and turn off everything you don't want Google saving, like your browsing history, for example. You can also disable third party cookies on this page, disable site suggested ads and turn on enhanced protection under the safe browsing menu. Step four, a couple of tips that I wanted to point out here under third party cookies, enable protect your device from dangerous sites and under site settings settings, scroll all the way down and enable automatically remove permissions from unused sites. Step five is clear your browsing data regularly. And you can actually do this as often or as little as you like. I prefer doing it as often as I can remember, or you can automate the task in certain browsers. Step six, if you are using a third party password manager that allows for cross platform use, or only stores passwords locally, then click on autofill and passwords, then Google Password Manager and delete save passwords. Under your Google Password Manager settings, disable the option to offer to save passwords and pass keys. Step seven, disable autofill and delete any saved data that you don't want stored. And lastly, in Chrome, go to AI innovations, click on history, search powered by AI and disable that entirely. Now, if you are finding this video helpful, a subscribe would mean so much to me. Subscribing is a very simple and a free way to support creators on YouTube. So if you're following along with this challenge, hit the subscribe button, which should be right down below this video and turn on notifications so you don't miss tomorrow's video. You can also grab the full checklist and the daily recap at Shannon morse.com and i also wanted to say a big patreon shout out to my s'mores you can join them and support my channel by going to patreon.com shannon morse for perks like early video access and 
I have a private Discord. As usual, all the videos on my channel are free to watch, and I thank my YouTube members and my patrons for making that possible. Step number two, securing Safari and Edge. Now, while I don't use Safari or Microsoft Edge, I did want to make note that you can make similar changes to both of those browsers as well. In Safari, click on your drop down menu and go to settings. Click on security and make sure the security settings are enabled to warn you about things like non secure site connections and make sure to warn you about unsafe sites. Under privacy, enable options to prevent cross site tracking, hide your IP, and require Touch ID for private browsing. In advanced, you should enable privacy settings that offer protection and block cookies. And then we go over to Edge. With Edge on Microsoft Edge, you wanna select settings, privacy, search and services and go to tracking prevention and turn it on. You can also scroll through the services under this menu and clear browsing data, delete cookies, manage site permissions and customize your privacy and security settings. All right, let's go on to step number three, which is my favorite part, using a third party browser. Now, if you wanna take it a step further and this is what I highly recommend, download a new browser entirely, and this will let you start fresh with a clean slate. There are a ton to choose from, like a lot. There's a lot of browsers out there, but here are a few that I have tested and I really enjoyed, and ones that I still recommend. First, we have Brave. Now, Brave is a Chromium-based browser that blocks ads, trackers, fingerprinting by default, and upgrades to HTTPS whenever possible so you get faster, cleaner browsing without any kind of need for a ton of different extensions. It also gives you an optional privacy first search engine and it can sync securely across devices, making it a very solid balance for convenience and privacy. Then we have DuckDuckGo browser, which offers a privacy focused browsing experience, especially on mobile with built-in tracker blocking and a search engine that does not profile you. It's really great if you want a simple, minimal setup that keeps things very private with almost zero configuration. Now, LibreWolf is actually a new one for me, but this one is a fork of Firefox stripped of telemetry and auto updates with default settings that clear cookies and history on close. So it's designed for folks who want to like set it and forget it kind of privacy first browser out of the box. It's also open source. It's also very community driven. And of course, it's going to tend to leak less data than stock Firefox or many other mainstream browsers. But I will say, Firefox is also a great choice. Tor Browser. So Tor routes your traffic through multiple encrypted relays, making your browsing nearly anonymous, hiding your IP and preventing tracking, fingerprinting, or location-based profiling. Tor Browser is the go-to choice when maximum privacy and anonymity matter, though at the cost of slower page loads and somewhat reduced performance. Then we have Zen Browser, which is very aesthetically pleasing. Zen is a Firefox based open source browser that aims for a friendly middle ground, more privacy conscious than mainstream browsers, but with a smoother user experience and an interface polish. It includes built-in tracking protection, customizable themes, and a nice tab management tool, which is a very good option if you care about usability as well as privacy. And this one is kind of old school, but I'm still recommending it, Vivaldi. Vivaldi is a power users browser. It's built on Chromium, but super, super customizable. You can rearrange nearly every single part of the interface. You can manage tabs with advanced tools. You can tailor the experience to your workflow. It also offers decent privacy controls like an ad and tracker blocker, cookie management, encrypted sync, while still supporting Chrome extensions. So it's ideal if you want flexibility without sacrificing control. And we also have Firefox Focus, which is this stripped down privacy first mobile browser. It's got a simple UI, minimal overhead, a very aggressive default tracking protection. So it's perfect for quick private browsing sessions. Its minimalism also makes it less versatile than a full browser, but that's the point. Privacy without any kind of fuss or extra bloat. So once you choose your browser, you can move on to step four, 
some additional tips. Now, as always, check for updates and enable auto updates for your browser, no matter which one you're gonna use. Hackers love to exploit outdated software and browsers are no exception to this rule. 2025 has also seen a rise in AI-driven search, but also AI-driven privacy features. And nowadays we have end-to-end -end encryption for browsing as well. Google Chrome and Firefox both now offer better integration with password managers, enhanced anti tracking and privacy centric browsing modes. But Chrome also has a lot of AI tools built into the browser itself, as well as the Google search engine. Now I would advise customizing any settings that have to do with AI and check data collection policies for these as well. You can also disable the Google location history feature in 2025, which automatically tracks your movements. It's definitely a feature that you should turn off if you are concerned about privacy. And that's a wrap for day 15. So you have successfully secured your browser, whether you chose to secure the one that you're currently using, or you chose my recommendation, a third party browser experience instead. So now browsing just got a little bit safer. Now tomorrow for day 16, we're gonna dive into extensions for your browser. Are they still worth downloading for your upgraded browsers or are they actually a security nightmare? If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and hit the little bell icon icon down below to stay notified and updated with the rest of the challenge. Don't forget to grab the checklist at shannonrmorse.com. I'm Shannon Morse and I'll see you tomorrow for day 16. Stay safe, s'mores. Bye y'all.